gosh, I started my own cooking show not only because I wanted to pass on recipes that were handed down to me from my family, but I also wanted to share them with the world. Now, some of these recipes are literally hundreds of years old. So I was so lucky to get cooking experience from spending countless hours with my mom in the kitchen. I learned how to make classical dishes, like for example, maklube, which is a specialty made with roasted cauliflower, caramelized onions, chicken and rice topped with toasted almonds and pine nuts. And then the whole thing is inverted upside down for extra drama. <laughs> For our peoples, for our feasters, we gotta make this work. I don't wanna. One, two, two three, three. McLuber! Woo! Woo! It works! Awesome. Yeah. This is a work of art. The chicken is falling off the bone here. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Most of these dishes can take a lot of time to prepare because back in the day, all they had was time, not me. As a mom of two, I had to create a modern spin for today's Western palate and my lifestyle. One way I do this is by creating fusion dishes, like putting baklava into granola. So putting to the two together, I came up with baklava granola. I just layered some of it with some yogurt and some organic strawberries, and I could just wake up for breakfast and have the flavor of baklava right in my very own cup. Or how about adding some strong Arabic coffee to put in my plain vanilla ice cream? Today, I'm going to combine two of my favorite loves together. I'm gonna to combine Arabic coffee and ice cream. You get the fatty, smooth ice cream and you get the coffee buzz and there's nothing more exciting than that. This is a cool thing about uh, Arabic coffee is it's full of rich traditions. They drink it during happy times, they drink it during sad times, they even use it to tell your fortune. Here's an example. So I had a cup of coffee earlier today and what you do is with the rest of the grounds that are at the bottom of the cup, you swirl it around, you put it upside down and people tell your fortune using the images that are in the cup. This is really cool. And who doesn't love nachos? Especially if they are Middle Eastern nachos made with homemade pita chips and authentic Mediterranean condiments, which I call machos. Yeah. Okay. I say, who cares about the game? Let's just eat these nachos. <laughs> Let's try this. I think this is great out of a bowl, probably. Yeah. Oh, crap. Mmm. It's supposed to be messy, too. Mmm. I'll even show you how to scout out the best exotic spice shops and markets in the world, like this one in Jerusalem. My singular goal was to get to a 200-year-old spice shop in Old Jerusalem. Right now he's putting together the Jerusalem spice mix, which is really popular. It has more than 10 different spices, which he puts together so effortlessly, and they taste harmonious all together. He combines turmeric, cumin, garlic, bay leaf, and coriander, and it's pretty versatile. I now use this spice mix with my veggies, meats, and grains. And take a look at this really unique cooking technique, an unconventional way to grill meats in Spain. This lamb, the way he's cooking it, the interesting method he's using is that he's using the vines of the grapes. Let's get a close up. Come on over and see if we can. If you could smell it, it's incredible. I mean, it's got this beautiful smoky smell. We can't wait to try it. I'm sure it's gonna look gorgeous. All you need plate. is salt, put it on the grill, and if you have grapevines that have been crushed and dried, use that as the fuel. And you'll get the most incredible, like crunchy on the outside, soft and buttery on the inside lamb. You would make mi any Middle Eastern family proud with this lamb, that's for sure. Wow. Wow. And at home, I love teaching my very popular Middle Eastern cooking class. And right now, I'm about to start my cooking class here in Menlo Park at Drager's Markets. And we are setting up, we got the crew here. What's up, crew? Hey, these guys are amazing. Okay, here we are. We're drinking sahlab in my cooking class. You guys liking the sahlab drink? Yes! Awesome. I have a distinct Arab heritage, but I'm also a California girl at heart. And I'm passionate about bringing this part of the world to you all so that you can make your own feast in the Middle East. 